In this example, we're going to have a look at the solution of a first order differential equation which can be solved using the technique known as separation of variables. Let's have a look at the equation. We're asked to find the general solution of dy dx equals minus ky, where k is a constant. Now in this method, what we try to do is we try to get all the terms involving the variable y onto one side and all the terms involving the variable x onto the other side. Terms involving constants can go on either side. So what I'm going to do is rearrange this equation as follows. I'm going to have a dy on the left and I'm going to bring the term y that's on the right onto the left hand side. So it will appear under here dy over y equals, I'm going to leave the constant term on the right and bring the dx from underneath over to the right hand side. Strictly speaking that stage needs some justification because dy dx is not actually a fraction. But for the purposes of using this method for applying this technique we can treat dy dx as though it was a fraction. So what we've done is we've rearranged the equation so that everything involving y is on the left and everything involving x is on the right and the constant as I said can go on either side. We then integrate both sides with respect to their respective variables. So we're integrating 1 over y with respect to y, which is the logarithm of the modulus of y. And we're integrating minus k with respect to x, which is minus kx, plus a constant of integration. We're trying to find y, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the exponential of both sides and the exponential of the logarithm will cancel to leave the modulus of y as the exponential of minus kx plus a constant of integration. We can split this using the laws of indices to e to the minus kx and e to the c. And because c is a constant, e to the c is also a constant, so I'm just going to write it simply as a. So a e to the minus kx. So we've got that the modulus of y is a e to the minus kx. Now strictly speaking what this means is that either y is a e to the minus kx or y equals minus a e to the minus kx. But since a is an arbitrary constant we can simply write down the general solution as a e to the minus kx where a is an arbitrary constant it might be positive or negative and that is the general solution of the equation. And that's the job done.